Thursday afternoon. Uh, let's just talk about the game that we were watching. The Rays extend their season opening win streak to 13, my friends. I believe that's a baker's dozen. I've never worked in a bakery, but I'm pretty sure that's what it means. I'm also millennial, so we don't really use that term. But they did <laughs> match the Braves and the Brewers for the best start in the modern era with this win. Guys, they were down 3-1 in the fifth, CY. They put up a seventh spot. Did you see that coming? Yeah, they were, were you down, all along? they were down for a whole inning. Today, oh. today, I mean, and even that one <laughs> inning, it felt like oh, something ain't right. These boys going to step up. You had, um, you know, Boston came off the board, home run in the first inning. Yanni Diaz leading off the game saying, no, no, we'll go ahead and tie the game. You got Manny Margot bunning with the bases loaded <laughs> with two outs for a run. You got Harold Ramirez hitting bases, clearing doubles. I mean, everything is going right. If you watch the base hits that they had today, they probably got three, four, five base hits on balls that were nowhere close to the zone. It's just one of those situations when things are going right, they're going right. You can tell that they have a different confidence to them right now, right? It doesn't matter if they get down early. doesn't matter what the situation is. Guys are coming up clutch. And I, I look at Brandon Lau right now. Five home runs. He had four in four days. Like, this dude was hurt all of last year. And now I love what he's bringing to the middle of this order. It's tough to see Springs go down because that's a guy that we saw start off really hot this year. And he was going to be a big part of this rotation. Hopefully he's not out too long. But this Rays team, they look unbeatable right now. Such a complete team. Yeah, funny you bring up Jeffrey Springs, Ariel Epstein. Did you jinx him? I might have jinxed him a couple of days uh. ago by talking about him being my perfect 10. However, it just shows you how deep this – bullpen goes for the Rays. Your pitcher goes down in the fourth inning, I'm pretty sure it was, mm -hmm. and he gives up one run, Jeffrey Springs, in the first inning off a home run. The Red Sox scored two more runs after that, but your pitcher goes down early, about an inning or two earlier than expected. Your bullpen comes through and limits those Red Sox bats. That, to me, is impressive, especially with the way the Red Sox were hitting to start the season. Yeah, Roy, when you see the magic that is happening in Tampa, I mean, just as a sports fan, like, what kind of feeling yeah. do you get? Like, what, what sense do you have of this club? I'm, I'm happy for, for the, the people of Tampa because, you know, Tom Brady left you. You need something to be happy about. <laughs> Devin White wants to leave now, too. Yeah, no, it's like every towns like that need at least one good thing to hold on to. That's why I don't respect anybody that was like, you know, early in the street when it was like seven wins, eight wins. They were going, oh, strength of schedule and oh, it was the athletic. It don't matter. A win is a win in baseball. My, my question, though, is, like, at what point as a player, like, do you start, like, feeding into the hype of that? Because, you know, baseball players, they, they ain't never, mm -hmm. well, you know, every day you go out and <laughs> hit the ball. The, the robot, the the robot answers. At what point do you just go, even if it's just behind closed doors, at what point in the clubhouse do you just go, yeah, we good? I think we just at the situation now, we just riding that wave. We understand we're not going to win every game, but – when everybody's hot at the right time, the fact that they coming in and leading the game and run scored right now, that means everybody's clicking. There's nobody moping around the clubhouse because they having a little scuffle a year. Everybody hot right now. Pitchers are pitching good. Hitters are banging. Clutch. Bullpen is, is dominating like Ariel was talking about. It's just like one of those things. You just ride it as long as you can. And it's, when you do lose, you feel like, Oh, we weren't supposed to lose that game. Like You feel like it's, a, yeah. it's just a shock to you when you lose that game and then you normally bounce right back and keep that streak going. I think today was a statement. Like, if you're thinking about when, when is that point when you're like, damn, we, we that bad. And like, we, we are, yeah. I think today was the day because, because of you scoring that many runs in one inning. Mm. It's almost like a, a huge, you're like, okay, we were down for a second. Maybe this is the game we might lose. No, like, they blew that out of the water immediately. And I thought th this was the game to me that set the tone early on. Still I, only one game this year that the Rays have won by less than four runs incredible stat. Yeah. Yeah, that really is. Uh, Roy, it's interesting that you mentioned strength of schedule. How long do we think this run can last? Let's take a look at their upcoming <laughs> schedule. We have probable starters as well. Blue Jays, guys, that's Ooh. not going to be an easy series. Ooh. Reds, that's a little bit of a lighter opponent. Roy, when you take a look at this, you how know are you feeling? Be? What's your gut telling you? It'll, You know what it'll be? They'll sweep the Blue Jays for no reason other than just baseball gods <laughs> making us think they're invincible. And then the conversation, ooh, they might win 20. They know they're going to beat the Reds. And then the Reds going to put up a 20 spot for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. That's exactly That's how I'm baseball is, works. though. It's true. They'll sweep the Blue Jays, and then for whatever reason, the Reds will just come hot out the gate. Votto will have three homers in one game <laughs> for no reason. Like, th I think that... It is good for baseball because I think anything that you can have that gets 
April and gets people excited at the beginning of the season because you generally don't have this yeah. in baseball. You have hitting streaks and you have, oh, this pitcher hasn't lost and this many start, but it's just the basic binary. We won, they lost, and we did it over and over and over again. I think that's something that the fan, it gives the fans something to look for. And then also, don't forget, this is the third lowest payroll team in the league that right. is doing this. Right. Just a hashtag race. They always seem to figure it out. Like, never count them out. At the beginning of the season, people well, were giving the World Series predictions, and a couple people here at the network predicted the race to win it all. And I was like, have you seen these other payrolls? Have you seen these all-star lineups? And here we are. They always find a in. way. They always find a way to get Unreal. themselves in the dance. But the one thing I look at when we're looking at the schedule here, the Blue Jays will be the toughest lineup they will face. No so doubt. when we talk about how good their pitching is, we're going to really find out right now this series against the Blue Jays. You talk about Bo Bichette, Vladdy. You talk about Dil uh, Varsho, uh, George Springer, all those guys. I think Drew Rasmussen gets it done. Fleming, that might be more of a question mark for me just because he hasn't been the, necessarily the, the strikeout guy that we've seen some of these other guys being high velocity and Shane McClanahan. So you got some good guys going. You've got the new dimensions at Rogers Center, too, which we saw in game one that the Blue Jays finally, it took them till the eighth inning to put up a five piece. The Blue Jays lineup is so tough, and they showed it in the last two games by winning these games at Rogers Center. The wall in right field is in more. There are 19 more home runs that would have been hit last year if the dimensions were the way they are now at Rogers Center. This is going to be really tough for this pitching staff and the real test, like you said. It's lined up well for them right now, but don't don't think – the Blue Jays aren't also on a 108 game win, like win pace right now. They see what Tampa's doing this early in the season. You're not worried about none of that. Mm -hmm. The Blue Jays are like, man, we still the Blue Jays. They coming into our house. Yep. Like, let's go. What's up? Like, you're not gonna just come over here <laughs> and run how... and run through us. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand. You want to be the one to break the. I understand yeah. the, the, the strength of schedule. You know, shouldn't matter. I personally think it does. I mean, when you watch the Red Sox today. Kluber didn't necessarily have his stuff. I mean, let's be real. I mean, the bullpen gave it up today. I don't think they're going to have that easy of a walk going, going throughout. This is going to be the real test. If you can continue to ride this out, then this is where I'm really looking to see it. I'm not seeing it against Oakland or Detroit or Boston right now. I'm sorry. The Blue Jays starting rotation is scuffling a little bit right now, so maybe that could be an advantage for the Rays, but, but I'm looking forward to seeing this series. I love how this morning on MLB Central, Dero said, you know what's going to happen. The Rays are going to go on this win streak. The second they lose, they're losing 20 at least two <laughs> or three more times. Goodness, Dero. That's what the Brewers did. That's what police ex Brewers did, so you never know. So this win puts them up, I think, four, four and a half, depending on how tonight plays out, four and a half or five on the division. At what point oh, you're looking at standing. do the other teams, like, panic? I know it's too early for panic, but at what point do you go, all right, we, got, we might have to do something. These Rays is for real. Like, when do other teams buy into the Rays being a for real contender or this is just the fluke before the 20-game slide? I don't think you get there <laughs> until... I don't think you're even thinking about wild card spots until they're up by 10 in mid-August. I mean, you're talking about well, that's deep into the season. I mean, season. think about the Mets and the Braves last year. Everybody thought the Mets was about to run off with it. All it takes is one of these, this streak that the Rays are on right now. Don't think that the Yankees not going to go on a streak like this. Don't think the Blue Jays not going to go on a run like this, especially when they run through a, a weaker schedule. I feel like they are going to go in, win series after series, and then you'll sneak in and, and, and sweep a couple series but as well. But 13 straight? They're turning heads, and it's transcending uh, 30, baseball. Are they paying I'm not knocking it. Don't make it seem like I'm knocking it. I see what you're doing. No, no, I like when you guys fight. Go go, you said they're going to go on a run, but 13 straight is not a normal run. But how did the Yankees start off last year? No, yeah, but it wasn't 13 straight. But but that doesn't mean they're automatically going to go on another 13 straight run. But okay. if the Yankees go on two sixes, that's 13. That, my math. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. Baker's dozen, dozen. <laughs> you put you up I'll two decent out. weeks yeah. in differing months. I do think that that's the other thing I think that this year is probably going to help keep the divisions close is the fact that everybody plays everybody. Mm -hmm. So everybody gets to play the eight, not hating on the ace, but everybody's <laughs> going to get to play all of the cellar dwellers that yeah. normally you wouldn't get to Basically, play. Basically, you get to play the central multiple times, which helps yeah. in whatever league you're in. What's <laughs> crazy is the Yankees are playing good baseball, and we haven't really been talking about the Yankees nope. just because this is basically unheard of what they're doing. We haven't seen this in Yankees so long. Yankees and the Braves. Yankees and the Braves, yeah, definitely. And we're in New York, we're talking about Tampa.